Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY, and today I just wanted to do a really quick video. Um, we have an issue with our Forma drain. We didn't put it in the front of our pad because this is going out to daylight, um, and I didn't want our Forma drain going here in the front where we're going to be driving over it with equipment, walking on it, and it's literally going to be uh, um, right flush with the ground. So. I would think it would get damaged, um, especially running tractors and all sorts of stuff over it. So we terminated it right here. I asked the company if they had any type of stop for this, um, and they said, no, it's designed to be a closed system. Well, if you stop this off, it would be a closed system. Uh, what they're saying is that it must be a continuous system around your slab. So. If you have it like us where we have it dug into the hill but you have daylight on the front side and you don't want to run the drain all the way in through the front, you have to figure out something on your own. So what I did is I knew a kid, uh, Jaden had a 3D printer and he actually printed me up a stopper for the end and it just fits over the end here, fits in there. We're going to silicone it in, um, screw it in and that's gonna plug off our system and allow it to flow out right here. So um, this is perfect. It has a small little lip on here to catch the edge here. Um, and it's just kind of recessed down in and it's hollow on the inside. So this is gonna work perfect for us. It's kind of a workaround. Um, you guys can plug this up with pretty much anything um, that won't deteriorate. I wouldn't um, advise putting wood in here or stuff because eventually it's going to erode away. So any type of metal, plastic, anything that you can block this up with if you don't have a continuous looping system like I have. So a big shout out to Jaden. Thank you very much for making these. Um, they're going to work perfect for what we have going on here. And without this, uh, we'd kind of be up quick. We'd have to manufacture something for ourselves. So thanks again, Jaden. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and head over to Appalachian DIY for more videos. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you next time.